Hi everyone, we're gonna play some more Binding of Isaac today. And we're gonna random. Why am I always Judas when I random? So, Judas starts with one heart. He starts with the Book of Belial. Book of Belial is used on a room. It'll give you double damage for that room. Quick thing about today's run. I had a five hour energy and I can't sit still or focus. So if I die in like two rooms, I apologize. But at the same time, I, I don't care. Okay, so, popcorn over here. Dust bunnies, whatever you want to call them. And a scent. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I couldn't focus in any of my classes today. It was pretty bad. I started, like, drawing crap on my papers. I drew some of those, like, S's from the 80s. And then Anthony called me during my last recording, which was fine. We solved a computer problem. Even though I'm not an IT major, he is. I'm a math major, bitches. <laughs> I know you're all pitying me right now. So this is Judgment. I'm going to give him money so that he might possibly give me a good item. Fingers crossed. Oh, you gave me a key. Things are looking up. Alright, what's this? Two of spades. More keys. Keys. See you later, man. I got hit, so I have half a heart already. And I don't want the hourglass, even though I said it was a good item in the last video. Because I'm a hypocrite. No, I just think that the Book of Belial is pretty, pretty much better in almost every situation. And now you can see why Judas has one heart. Because he can... Oh, I don't know why I thought that was going to be a blast of vaginal blood coming out of his mouth. But, um, <laughs> I hope the windows are closed. He starts with one health because he can kill everything, like, really, really quickly in the beginning. So it gives you time to get some health upgrades. Uh, and if you suck, then it forces you to play better. And while I'm not playing exceptionally well, at least it's, it's causing me to do a little better. And now we're on the second floor of the cellar. So the harder stages of the first two floors. And if I don't get killed by these spiders, which I, I'm i thinking I won't, then we might make it to the second item room. Also, from the boss, I got a health, I got a health upgrade. So now I have two hearts, instead of Judas' standard of one. For some reason, the frame rate just fell a little bit. Alright, two keys go into the item room, pretty much given. Money equals power. So if I have lots of money, it'll give me damage up. But considering I spent all my money a judgment on the last floor, I don't think this will help me very much right now. Oh, God. One hit from that colored jumping spider. Ah, oh God. Will kill me. Because the colored enemies, or the special colored enemies, do a full-hearted damage so if I get hit oh, okay oh now we're now we're getting somewhere so like I said money equals power eh, money equals power I'm talking too fast all the words getting jumbled in my head coming out like mush and making me sound weird money equals power every 10 cents gives you a damage upgrade or so I've read and heard and kind of noticed so I have 11 cents now via that nickel and by nickel, I mean dime. So now I have 11 cents. So I have one damage upgrade. Hats off to the math major doing some good math there. And I also have a bicycle card, playing card, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm going to call it a playing card. Where uh, it's called Two of Spades. And what it does, if I'm not completely mistaken which I might be doubles your keys I also picked up the red patch which means if I get hit there's a chance that I will get a damage up as well so let's hope that I don't get hit and don't even have to use it and let's look for the secret room I found it and we get a uh, spider bite which slows enemies for some of our shots, I don't know. If, if an enemy gets hit, it has a chance to be slowed. 
Or maybe it just does it every single time. Let's see. Nope. Chance to slow them. Which isn't doing anything against Famine over here. Oh, now it does. Yeah, I have Book of Blyle. I should probably use that. I always have a big problem not using my spacebar items. Unless it's like Bob's Rotten Head for some reason. I don't know why I actually like the item. But I do. And uh, it's really useful because I actually remember to use it. Okay, cube of meat. A lot of people don't like it. I think it's really good because, like I said earlier, if I did say it in this video, it might be the last one that I messed up. Uh, I can't dodge very well for some reason. I'm not very good at, like, bullet hell shooters and all that. So anything that gives me some sort of defense against that, or defense against myself in certain cases, is more than welcome. Um, let's see if I can get another key before I use this. If I had the Book of Belial, I'd probably, like if I had it charged or ready to go, I'd definitely be using it right now because I'm not good at these guys either. Plus I need to maintain my money and uh, these guys are the head of Greed, which is one of the seven deadly sins. And what Greed does is if he hits you, you lose money. You lose one cent permanently and then I think like one to three cents gets scattered around your whereabouts where you gotten hit. So say I got hit right now, I'd lose one cent, I'll have ten, so I'll still have the damage upgrade. But uh, I'll never be able to get that cent back. And this is Doctor's Remote. Which lets us rain down a missile from hell, or well heaven I guess. But I'm not going to take that with me, I'm going to use the Book of Belial, because as I said it's much better, for me anyway. And we're going to take on this room of spiders and bulging flies. Not going to go to the self-sacrifice room over there, because if I do, I'll have one heart, and that's almost never a good idea. Oh, actually, I'll have half a heart. Even worse! Free bomb. Red fire. Then we have some big spiders, or uh, what looks like double spiders. Which hopefully I can kill before they get close to me. And I have done it. Done. Yeah. My leg can't sit still. It's like I have restless leg syndrome. I should get that checked out. Which is funny because that's not even from the five hour energy. That's, that's me. Problems. Problems in my leg muscles. Oh, it's not actually a problem. It doesn't do anything and I can't actually control it. But right now I can't seem to focus enough to do it. But at least I'm dodging relatively well in the game. I don't need that key, I guess. And we're not going to the shop, because A, I don't have enough money, even if I wanted to, and B, I need that for the damage upgrades, because of money equals power. Have I gotten anything that I missed talking about? I've gotten a lot of bombs that explode on the ground. Alright, boss time! Blighted Ovum? Book of Belial. Okay, so this guy is just really fast. He leaves blood on the ground, that damages you if you touch it. And his little partner over there, little ghost fetus thing, shoots a brimstone laser, or vagina blood laser, whatever you want to call it. And I got the belt, so I'll move quicker, speed up. Shit down, alright. Catacombs 2. Uh, the green dudes with green bombs. They're actually, like, I don't know why everyone's got a big, like, hard-on for hating these guys. I don't think they're that bad. Unless you're, like, completely cornered and then they just destroy you. Because each of those bombs is one heart, but they're pretty, like, easy to dodge. In my opinion. And then Super Wrath here. Who puts out homing, self-detonating bombs. I guess all bombs are self-detonating. That's a bad name. But they're homing, and they... You know, they explode without you doing anything. 
I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, Super Wrath is a super version of the uh, fuck. Uh, the super version of a seven deadly sin. So Wrath. And he's dead, and I will not follow in his wake. Okay. So I got some free bombs. Always a good thing. Let's move up. If I blow up that TNT, it'll hurt me. If I was directly be below it. If I blow up the demon judgment heart needing douchebag over here, more likely to get a deal with the angel. But it means I have to fight these spiders, which wasn't that difficult. Turns out I was making a big deal out of nothing. Unless I took a deal with the devil already, in which case I'm pretty sure I can't get to the angel room. Or at least, I have a much lower chance of doing so. But whatever, we're not going to dwell on that. We're going to dwell on the fact that I hate these greed heads, and I'm seeing them constantly. But at least the slowing is making things a little bit easier on me. Boom. Alright, item room. Forever alone, I suck with this item. But we'll see if we can use it effectively. Let's get some money, because I want another damage upgrade. Nope, I'm not going for the other one. Green bomb dudes. I'm like trying to aim forever alone fly here. And it's not working. This is difficult. Okay. Lots of pills I can't even friggin' use. Oh, I didn't use the two of spades earlier. Whatever. Who cares? A lot of people care. I'm just not one of them right now. Because I can't focus. Calc was a bitch today. He was talking about, like, the, like, squeeze theorem. Which is one of my, put my dick in your butt. Oh, I mean, um, another demon judgment. Should I blow him up? I'm going to blow him up. He was talking about, like, squeeze theorem and, uh, spiders. No. The comparison test in series and, uh, circuits. Not circuits. Sequence and series. Wow. Okay. Larry Jr. is just going right over the rocks. Get him, attack fly. I missed. Fuck you. Okay. I don't need that. Okay, let's go. To the boss. To the boss. This video is already 13 minutes. That's a problem. I'm probably going to... This is going to be another, like, 30-minute video. Which shows I'm either really, really slow at this game, or uh, I'm doing a lot of backtracking. Because that's how I play normally. Like, I'm, I backtrack like a crazy person to try and make sure I get everything I can. Which I don't do in, normally in games, but this one, for some reason, it just seems like a good idea. And uh, usually makes my runs like 40 minutes. And I hate this red poop. Because it's, it hurts you if you run into it. I guess it's like it's got some sort of disease in it or something. And Isaac's... Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's dead. Cat of Nine Tails is shot speed up. Which makes my tears shoot a little bit faster. Deal with the devil. Nothing I want. Oh, poop's gone. Didn't look for the secret room. Don't care. Like usual. Curse of Darkness, which means I'm never fi I'm gonna die here. 100% gonna die here. Slow the faces. Kill the red hearts. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna live. To fight another room. So maybe I can get down to the womb. And get a shroom. No, I don't do drugs. 
And maybe this green turret thing, Blom Shooter? Blom Shooter? Yep. Looks like it's affecting more than my brain. So my speech is going now. I guess that's part of the. Oh. I died. So that's what happens when you can't focus. Anyway, hope you all have a good day. And uh, hopefully this doesn't suck too bad. Alright, well, see ya.